Hey everyone, it's Sean from the product team here at Census. Today I want to show off some powerful new features of our segmentation tool. We've released a number of improvements and new conditions recently, but today I want to talk about multi-object conditions. You can see this segment I'm looking at now filters users based on their properties, as well as properties of the teams they're a member of, and I'm not writing any join SQL to accomplish this. To enable this sort of dynamic segmentation, we've released a whole new area of the product called Entities. Entities let data teams define how different models in their data warehouse actually relate to each other. So let me jump into the Entity side first to show you what that looks like. So here I have a few of my entities already set up, some users and teams, and you can see they're actually already related. Think of entities as just shining the spotlight on the data sets or models already in your warehouse as the primary ones that most of the business team should actually use. All we're doing here today is kind of providing the operating manual for that data. Once the entities are defined, Census will help the rest of your company do more work with them, including segmentation. So I've got some users and teams. I actually want to add one more entity to the list here. Uh, I've got some event data. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this. Uh, app events, and I'm going to make this an event data type, which gets some unique powers inside segmentation. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, as part of making an event data type, I need to provide a couple of default fields. So I've got my event ID, I've got my event name, and my event timestamp. And I'm going to go ahead and add a relationship for, from that event to users as well, because I've got a user ID on here that maps to the user ID. Go ahead and hit save on that, and now I've got app events added to my list. Let me switch back to segments, and I'll show you now what I can do. So for my list of segments, I've already got some that are working here, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new segment. I'm going to create a segment of users. And let's call those high value users. And as I refine things, we'll see my data set shrinking as I'm adding new properties here. So I want some valid emails because I'm going to be sending this off to an advertising destination here in a minute. So let's make sure that it's not blank. We'll update that. And then I'm going to add some additional properties. So um, let's say I want them to be a member of a team. Uh, with active user count greater than 10 so that they are actually you know a relatively interesting size and I can switch into events my app events here and let's filter down to a specific event event named new canvas that's the activity that that user tree uh, triggered and let's do at least two times in the uh, last 30 days and I could also add some filters here as well but I'm not going to bother at this point so my segment size is recalculating relatively narrow at this point that's fine I'm going to go ahead and hit save and now I can start and create a sync based on that segment I'm going to send this off to Facebook I'm going to use a Facebook custom audience in this case we're going to match by email address uh, and I'm going to actually, rather than using one of my existing audiences here, I'm going to create a new audience. I'm going to call this high value target list. Save. And I'll remove those users from the audience if they were removed from Census. So Census will take care of automatically removing them from my Facebook audience if they disappear and they no longer qualify for the Census audience. I'm going to add. The remaining identifiers, I just have a few in this case, hit next and run the sync. It's going to reach off to the data warehouse, use that model and query that I just built to pull out those targeted users and start sending them over to Facebook. Great. My segment is done syncing to Facebook and if I open it up, I'll see my brand new custom audience that I just created. So that's how data and business teams can work together to create complex and dynamic segments live on top of the data warehouse. And with just a few more clicks, that live data can be flowing to all your marketing and advertising tools too. Happy syncing.